Seiko. I'm an artist, I'm a printmaker, textile, surface designer, and an illustrator. I like to call myself a multimedia artist, not mixed media, because I have managed to keep busy. I've managed to keep artistically active and doing what I am, am most passionate about. And so in real life, I'm a dean at a school. I teach graphic design. I love being at a place of that sort because you're expected to be an active professional artist within your career and active in your discipline. So that brings me to Aramont. This is not my first time here. And so even though I don't teach in a textile program, they asked me if I would come and just uh, share what I know. And so that is where my goal in life is to combine everything I know into one form or another. As I try to introduce myself to the class, I try to let them know that they're needing to let happy accidents happen. They're needing just to experience the medium. I am not forcing my ideas on that technique, process, or medium. I'm allowing that process to inform my work, and I need them to do that as well. There'll be these problems, there'll be these unexpected type of approaches, and so I'm, I, I ask for them to be patient with themselves as they just try these new items, and that has been very helpful to have a wide variety of, of people in my class. We're looking at, in the textile class, this is a textile surface design type of class, a very mixed media approach, even though most of it's fabric, that I am bringing in printmaking techniques, and they just asked me about tacbon, because I said, my, my course description, that's a Korean technique where you're tapping, you're just really tapping the surface gently. You want to capture the direct, not just what you see, you want to capture the texture the pattern of where you are and let it inform your work so that you're not just filtering what you see into your own head, you're capturing right there on site. And so that's where we are trying to think of Irmont. There's an urban and a rural, and as I came here, that's why I chose that, because there's an urban and a rural that informs this place and space. And can they in allow that to filter into their work from the dye coloration to the paint to the ink to the stitching to the finished product. As we talked yesterday, some of the students said that's where coming to a place like this makes them have to focus on not just the make, 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 not just production, production. Can they be forced out of their comfort level to think of content? Because I've been teaching academic classes since 83, college classes, that means I have forced myself to think of content. So why did I really do that? Did I consider that as I put the color down, what it meant, what it said? And so that informs my work as well as being the academic artist, not just a production studio artist. The idea of how my work is informed by a story would of course have its roots in being an Appalachian child, where the oral story, the song story, the sing song story of that music of this area, the old timey music, is going to uh, be something I always know. I can put it in my artwork like an old country song and something will happen. And so with my newest work, I love the idea of construction. That's that industrial technology moment. I love the idea of book art because it is constructed and that's, I guess, the layers itself. So uh, last year, someone gave me a home economics project book from 1913. And uh, then I'm trying to embed my own work, my own work that has been stitched, my own work that's been dyed, it's been colored different ways, so it's all, as you're turning that page, it's almost, so remember the trousseau was like a hope chest. So I'm using uh, old uh, flatware boxes from as old as I can get, re, you know, tearing them apart, recovering them, and each book has a box that it has to sit in as well. Uh, it's slow art, but when you get it done, you just get so excited that you just spent six months 
<laughs> and he finally got it done. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I have to start something else now. So those, you know, uh, that's the exciting part of just trying to give myself something to do that tends to be a series. Not just a one-up, but can I think of this long series? Thank you.